to stop the lava from reaching the city center. Within an hour, firefighters built a wall hundreds of meters wide right in front of the lava. Then hundreds of fire trucks surrounded the barricade. The governor ordered everyone to shut off their valves. They're going to use fire trucks and helicopters to sprinkle water on the lava when it reaches the wall. They were going to use fire trucks and helicopters to douse the lava as it came over the wall. All the firefighters were ready with their hoses, but no one was expecting that, that the lava would shake the fire trucks, which weighed tens of tons. Everyone was stunned. Wherever the lava flows, is going to be burned to a crisp. The lava was about to spread over the barricades, and then the helicopters arrived just as they were supposed to. The next moment, the whole city looked like a wonderland, and that means they've dust the lava. People were celebrating the impossible, and then the governor got a call. The lava has been forced to stop, and it's flowing down the subway tunnels, but faster than on land. The only way to divert the flow is to blow up the building. They quickly set up the bomb. The lava is being pushed out of the sewers by the pressure. The pressure pushes the lava out of the sewers, creating a 100 meter high geyser of lava. So the governor immediately ordered the detonation. But just then the governor saw the children in the blast zone. He immediately ran over to them and tackled them. As the building collapses, the governor and the children are engulfed in dust, and the lava eventually changes course and flows down the trench that was blown out into the ocean. The governor crawls out of the rubble. He manages to save the two children. At that moment, a heavy rain falls from the sky as if to wash away the disaster. 